Well, you heard it. We now move on to the medal matches for the Recurve Men's Open competition here at the European Championships in Rome. Let's go down for the introductions. On target number two, representing France. Alversaglio, numero due, per la Francia. Guillaume Ducule. The line judge for this match is Serdar Özdemir. And shooting first on target number two, France. Well, there's definitely a bit of an Olympic flavour to this one. Stefano Travisani of Italy is shooting uh, at the home of Italian, uh, the Italian Olympic and Paralympic Committee. And, uh, of course, Guillaume Tucule of France is uh, preparing for a home nation Olympics coming up in 2024. This for the bronze medal in the Recurve Men's Open competition. Seven, seven. So I think it's clear to all the distinction between these two archers. Seven, seven. But Chris, as always, we talk about it's just a process and you learn how to adapt uh, and the power archers, perhaps uh, especially compared to the non-disabled ones. Fascinating to watch uh, Guillaume Tuquelet shoot with his mouth tab. It's a, it's a really impressive um, process. No matter no matter how you put it, the the strength in the the jaw and the and the neck to, to pull the bow back, but also to release um, consistently. Very interesting technical difficulty uh, shooting a recurve with a, a mouth tab. But great to see two athletes who've worked on their process to deliver 70 meters down range. Eight, so a 24 set, I took it out. Travisani, nine will get the set points. Oh, he's put it into the 10. The first 10 of the match as well for a 26. And that was a very solid shot as well. So two first set points go the Italians' way on home soil. That was a good finish from Travisani in that first set. Uh, Guillaume Tukere has got the pedigree, though, to come back into this. Not only is he a, a very, very valued member of the French para team, having finished runner-up at the para championships, uh, at the start of this year, the World Championships at the start of this year. He's also one of the uh, reserve members of the French able-bodied team and has been shooting in some able-bodied events as well. And so when you talk about the upcoming uh, Paralympics and Olympics in Paris in three years' time, two years' time now, you know, uh, it's not unheard of in archery to have athletes compete in, in both events. Well, impressive as he might be, Guillaume Tuchelet has lost the first set. So he will shoot first in the second and will want to get back into this one immediately. Nine. Nine. Eight, 
Tukalo finding the middle of the target for the first time in the match. Give him some confidence. Six. Say. So now very much in the Frenchman's hand. Eight. Otto. And that is more than enough. And it is the immediate comeback from Guillaume Tukele. Important shot, though, still for Travassini. Nine. Nine. Still drifting a little left to 23 there. But the best uh, arrow of the three in that second set for Travassini. But, uh, the important now, thing from a French perspective is that Tukele has got himself back on level terms. So, anything in particular you're spotting here, Chris, in terms of form? I think that fascinates me with archers who shoot with a mouth cab is that it changes the dynamics of a, a recurve bow at its core. Um, recurve archers, able-bodied recurve archers shoot with their fingers when they release and there's pressure horizontally from the left or the right depending on whether they're left or right-handed as their string exits around their fingers and actually it's wobbling left and right um, as, the, as the arrow is sent down range and this is what gives um, an arrow from a recurve bow the kind of um, shark tail effect that you see if you look at it in slow motion it's wobbling left to right uh, the problem is that with a, a mouth tab archer, there isn't this left to right um, impact. So there's only up and down from the travel of the string because he, uh, Guillaume, like all mouth tab archers, is just opening his mouth um, to let the mouth tab go and, and the arrow go down range. So you actually have to change how you tune the bow. You don't use a button, you use a, a rest below and don't pressure the arrow um, from the sides because if you do, it simply won't work. I, mean, I said all that, and he is shooting with a button. Um, so I have no idea how he's got that to work, but he Seven. clearly Seven. has. Well, after a little false start there, he's got the uh, set underway with a seven. Hey. And the second ten from the Italian. And a shot with real intent. He looked... Like he meant that one. Nine. Love it. Eight. Otto. So again. It's the Italian who's in command. These two have been flip-flopping between the dominance. Nine. Ooh, close to the 10, but it's uh, 25 in the end for Tukile. So anything more than a 7. And Travasini will find himself in the lead on home soil. Like a tight score. Well, three, it three, is a seven, and that's 25 score, apiece. So the archers were subject, of course, to the target judge confirming everything. If it first. remains 25 apiece, uh, they are still all square, but they've advanced by one point to three set points each. Well, Chris, that's a big opportunity uh, for the Italian there. Uh, they didn't quite grasp after a 9 10 8. His final arrow of that third set was a seven. Anything that you spotted? I clearly wasn't happy with it, uh, either happy with the outcome or, or how, he, how he delivered it. Low and right for a right-handed archer would normally indicate a little bit of a collapse. Um, he's not comfortable. Uh, you can see the uh, pain on his face, the, the uncomfort on his face, also being cooled down 
uh, in his in his spot on the shooting line. Uh, talented, talented archer, silver medalist in the mixed team event with Elisabetta Minio uh, at the last Paralympic Games. We've just seen her take individual gold. Time to get some comfort back if he's going to take advantage of the next set as he should have in the last. That does mean that we will have the full regulation five sets here. All square at three apiece, and Tukule will resume this bronze medal match. Eight, Otto. If you went back and overlaid those first two arrows of this set from Travisani against his, his previous arrows, they would stand out as much cleaner. Um, he's not collapsing at all in this set, and it's, it's showing on the, on the scoreboard. A solid 27 from Tukule, but uh, Travisani has 29 available to him. Puts it into the nine for a 28. So the closest set so far goes the Italian's way. And he now leads five set points to three. We do, of course, have one remaining set. And this man here, Guillaume Tukele, well, it's a must win for him. It's a must win, but you saw uh, Travisani before the cameras cut away. He moved his bow back towards him, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gave his sight a little twist, even though he's shot the best score of the match so far. 10-9-9, uh, a little high and left. If he knows they were great shots, as they look in a group that is, you know, pretty, pretty establishing, um, Guillaume's got the got the talent to bring this back. Any little point you can gain uh, is is useful. Could be necessary. Could be essential. So if he's given it a twist, I wouldn't be surprised. Trying to maintain his composure here, Travasani. He knows now that all he has to do is match his opponent. And here is Guillaume Tukule. Shooting first in the fifth. That's the advantage of being able to put some pressure on with some big scores, but that in itself comes with pressure. Just what the doctor ordered. Nine. Now that was a soft arrow. You could see his hand float a little bit away when he released uh, back and right. That's not what got him the big score in the fourth set. Oh, look at this. Nine. Love it. 
So very, very much in Guillaume Tuccolo's hand. A nine to put this one out of reach and confirm a shoot off. Nine. Oh, oh, that's just what he's got, a 29. That's uh, out of reach now from Travisani, but in a strange kind of way, he's now got a rehearsal of what is going to be a one-arrow shoot-off. Finishes with a 27. Italy, that, uh, that is one tremendous Tukule. comeback there the from right uh, Guillaume Tukule to force the shoot-off. Uh, Chris... To, uh, Shoot I'm not sure I can official. separate these two. Are you still, you still favouring the Italian here? Well, it was a great comeback from Tukele, shooting the best, the best set score of the match at 29 when he absolutely needed it in a must-win situation. And now Travisani has a real decision to make, right? He shot two arrows. They both landed a little bit to the right in the nine. Then he changed his sight. His third arrow, he shot a little bit to the left in the nine. We've seen Tukele control the middle. He's just shot two excellent tens. Travisani now, does he move his sight? Did he do something different between those two arrows and the third arrow? There's a lot going through your mind. And ultimately, there's also a little break. The conditions might change. Um, decision making in this situation is the most critical aspect uh, of a winning archer if you can make your decision if you can believe in it and if it's the right decision ultimately uh, you can win this this single arrow tie break uh, any of those decisions are wrong any of those thoughts take you in the wrong direction uh, your chances of taking this medal are pretty much sunk well interesting you saw both athletes there reaching for the talc uh, you mentioned perspiration how much that can that affect I mean, certainly in terms of uh, Travasani, you've got to be thinking about his, his bow hand, haven't you? And uh, clearly with Tukele, he is uh, just uh, putting talc or administering talc to one hand, the one that holds the bow. So how much difference can that make? I think it's actually a really critical thing for Tukele because not only does he have to find his spot in the bow, uh, the bow hand, obviously one of the two connections between Enrique Archer's technique and the hand, but he has to move it under stress, under pressure, a little slip, a little, a little failure of locating that in the draw process, and it's, it's going to be difficult to, to put a good arrow down. Here we go. Shoot off for the recurve men's open bronze medal here at the European Championships of 2022. Yeah, Tukule of France shooting first against Stefano Traversani of Italy. One hour each to decide this, and that's drifted off eight to the right. It's pretty close to the nine, but it's a definite eight. Traversani puts it into the ten, and on raw score. Uh, that is enough, and that's what's done it. Travasani takes the bronze medal here at the European Championships on home soil for him. Six points to five over GM Ducolet of France. Yeah, and that was a real battle. They went back and forth in that one. Good, good set from uh, Travasani in the in the fourth, and then Ducolet came back and, and shot a fantastic one in the fifth. But, Plenty of room inside that shoot-off arrow. And, and Travisani, the last four arrows have been fantastic. And, and, the, and, the, and the last arrow particularly, the best of them.